Beetlejuice is a red massive famous person. In case you put it where the sun is, it might enlarge out to the orbit of Jupiter. It is big, very volatile, and about to explode. Could Beetlejuice in all likelihood explode at any second? The big name Beetlejuice is both intriguing and enigmatic. This red massive superstar within the Orion constellation displayed bizarre behavior while it got fainter and overdue 2019 and early 2020 than it had ever been in over a century of statistics. It, in short, became almost as weak as Bellatrix, Orion's third brightest famous person. The extraordinary dimming turned into the name given to this incident, but Beetlejuice has since regained its brightness, turning into the brightest big name in Orion for some days this year, brighter than ever before. Speculation about its approaching destruction within the shape of an explosion has arisen because of those incidents. However, is there any proof for this principle? Will the purple massive superstar Betelgeuse explode during our lifetime? What effect would such an explosion have on Earthlings like us? Be a part of us as we explore the drawing close explosion of the Betelgeuse supernova and the caution from Brian Cox. Brian Cox cautions that because people may be the sole sentient species in our galaxy, wiping out our civilization would have catastrophic outcomes on the complete galaxy. Cox delves into the Goldilocks idea inside the universe, positing that precise occasions over billions of years made Earth just right for significant life to emerge. Despite the fact that the star at the middle of our solar system has not undergone huge change in nearly 4 billion years, scientists estimate that it is about midway through its existence cycle. Presently, it transforms 4 million tons of matter into energy by fusing 600 million tons of hydrogen into helium each second. This warm plasma sphere is the primary strength source for life on this planet, but scientists are expecting it will evaporate in approximately 5 billion years, inflicting a big alteration to the universe. Furthermore, Cox disclosed how this will likely play out in the BBC's Wonders of the Universe series. You might consider the universe a static, but stars are merely a passing aspect of the sky. Despite shining brightly for thousands and thousands or even billions of years, their lifespan is limited by their capability to attain hydrogen. A star like our sun begins to die when its hydrogen runs out. However, it does not pass away peacefully. The sun won't simply vanish into thin air when its existence ends. Its outer layers will extend when its fuel runs low because its center will fall apart and bring greater heat. However, Cox's caution that the results of the sun's adjustments will be felt by Earth some distance quicker. He endured by pronouncing this may have a disastrous impact on our delicate planet. In approximately a billion years, there will be one very last best day on Earth as the planet receives warmer. However, sooner or later, all life will be unable to survive. The sun may have extended to the point where it fills the whole horizon long after human existence has vanished. Its very last stage of development will see it become a red giant, but the sun will keep evolving long after humanity has vanished. Our world may not make it this far, but if it does, all that will be left to see are our star's final death gasps, a charred and desolate rock. Our sun will burst in six billion years, freeing giant volumes of gas and dust into space to create a large nebula. It will likely be a barely lit ember at its center, a fragment of its modern-day brightness and quantity, making it smaller than Earth. Our sun may have become a white dwarf. Although this method would make life on Earth impossible, NASA's New Horizons Mission Chief Investigator Dr. Alan Stern previously disclosed that it had additionally created livable worlds within the coldest regions of space. Dr. Stern thinks that any remaining people may be able to find safety on Pluto and other far-off dwarf planets inside the Kuiper Belt, a place of icy space objects beyond Neptune. These worlds' environments will substantially adjust when the sun expands, turning into delayed gratification livable worlds. Most of the time, stars exist in fantastic balance, gleaming with equal brilliance each year. However, 
There are certain exceptions. Some stars, recognized as variable stars, have brightness variations. The maximum regularly called as Mira, often called the Star of Wonder, was recognized in 1596 by German priest David Fabricius. It is a variable star. Mira is a pulsing star that periodically expands and contracts. Another example is Algol, which experiences periodic eclipses from a companion massive star. Approximately 30% of these variable stars are visible to the naked eye, although it takes skill to discern their variations in brightness. You already recognize Betelgeuse, even if you do not know the term. It is one of the brightest stars visible in the night sky, forming a sturdy shoulder of the constellation. Betelgeuse is a red giant, so huge that it could easily swallow up Earth, Mercury, Venus, Mars, and maybe even Jupiter if it were positioned at the center of our solar system. Its distance from us is immense, but we can still study it due to its size and brightness. About 400 light years according to the most accurate calculations, although that range may be closer to 600. The brightest of the variable stars is Betelgeuse, the fifth brightest star in the sky excluding the sun. Betelgeuse varies in brightness, sometimes achieving almost the same brightness as Rigel, the constellation's fourth brightest blue star. Pulsations, though not as strong or regular as those of Mira, create the fluctuation. On rare occasions, a star might also momentarily become extraordinarily bright. Supernovae are the brightest and rarest of these. They are created when a star explodes violently, ending its existence. It is possible for a supernova to be vibrant enough to be seen during the day, although this has seldom occurred within the last 1,000 years. Astronomers dream of seeing a nearby remarkable supernova, an occurrence that very few people will ever witness. We are hopeful beings. The big name has always been a potential explosive tool since the beginning of astronomy. Astronomers have referred to Betelgeuse because it is so shiny and simple to discover. As a result, we know a good deal about it, including the fact that it is very young, less than 10 million years old, compared to the sun's 4.6 billion years or more. We also know that giant red giants, like Betelgeuse, have brief lives because they burn through their fuel supply quickly. Consequently, although this awesome creature is still a toddler in the grand scheme of things, it will soon pass away in a magnificent style. A fact to imply that a star will burn out any day now means that it can exist for much longer than a human lifetime. In spite of everything, in a world where 10 million years is only a blip, the next day is 100,000 years. When you deal with cosmic time, everything is relative. However, scientists have long known that Betelgeuse's grand finale might arise at any time. Stars that are numerous times as big as our sun have the ability to collapse under their weight and die. When their fuel supply of hydrogen and helium runs out, they begin to accumulate heavier elements in their cores leading to their implosion at ever higher temperatures and densities. The star is ultimately compelled by means of the reaction to spit its outer layers into space. Some expect that when Betelgeuse eventually blows up, it is going to be so brilliant that it will resemble a second moon in the nighttime sky. Betelgeuse is a variable star, but in 2021, there was a big dimming. In fact, it had darkened by almost 60% in some months. Finally, it was determined that a cloud was responsible for this. Stars like Betelgeuse are constantly releasing dust and gas. Half of the star was obscured by a mass of gas in the wind. The scale of the star itself indeed picked up, and the mega star revealed that its southernmost part was absent. Some stars are thought to have weather, like Betelgeuse. It is now 50% brighter than standard but we still don't know what caused the abrupt brightening. However, it doesn't seem viable that a supernova is about to occur. These stars' instances are the source of a terrific explosion. Contrarily, fluctuations in brightness are a surface phenomenon. The terrific brightness could be the result of the same dust cloud that was responsible for the star's dimming, 
reflecting light back toward us. However, astronomers are extremely joyful because we can't be certain. Betelgeuse is a star that is 15 to 20 times as large as the Sun, and stars with this type of mass are expected to explode in a splendid explosion known as a supernova. Because Betelgeuse is a top-notch massive star, its color shows that its existence is almost over. But in the meantime, it could still be a million years off. For astronomers, over 10 million years is a very short time, but for everyone else, it's a very long time. This is the case with stars like Betelgeuse. New models have been run, with some speculating that a supernova would occur in a few thousand years and others putting it at 15 million years from now. The region close to Betelgeuse is full of mystery. Its genuine mass is unknown to us, and its distance is likewise up for debate. It is suggested that the mega star lately fused with a smaller companion, which might account for its faster than expected rotation. Massive stars normally do, rather than red Mars. Some ancient manuscripts compare the star to a yellowish Saturn. Because the star's color changed, that would imply rapid evolution, raising the possibility of a supernova happening sooner rather than later. What would a nearby supernova look like from Earth, and how would it affect us? Contrary to a common myth, this explosion won't be visible during the day. In fact, its brightness could make it look like a second sun in the sky, producing shadows at night. Because it's only a brief distance from us, the supernova can be a once-in-a-lifetime spectacle that occurs for a few months. The explosion won't hurt us because it is hundreds of light years away, but we may notice some stunning effects. Before the remains of the stellar core collapse, some say Betelgeuse could explode in a supernova that will shine for some months as brightly as the moon in the nighttime sky. The supernova will be seen from Earth and might be visible in the daytime for a few weeks. It could also produce shadows at night. On the contrary, the spacefaring, gold rush, that occurs afterward could be harmful. If a new big name formed in place of the old one, some of the remains from Betelgeuse might reach Earth. Nonetheless, even with the potential harm, we could benefit from the event. Any supernova within 30 to 50 light years would put Earth in peril, but Betelgeuse is too far away to hurt us. Astronomers can study the dynamics of supernova explosions to better understand how such events affect the universe and our world. Studying supernovae might help us understand how supernova remnants contribute to galactic structure and evolution. Thus, even if a nearby supernova doesn't occur in our lifetimes, it's worth considering what a supernova can teach us about the universe. The author suggests the possibility of life existing on other planets citing discoveries in extreme environments on Earth as examples. Microbes have been found in acidic hot springs, deep underground caves, and even the frozen tundra of Antarctica. This has led to the belief that similar life forms could exist on other planets or moons in our solar system, such as Mars or Europa. The discovery of extremophiles on Earth has expanded the range of environments where scientists believe life could exist, leading to new missions to explore these possibilities. The author also discusses the potential for finding extraterrestrial life by studying exoplanets. Advances in technology have allowed scientists to discover thousands of exoplanets, some of which are in the habitable zone of their stars. The habitable zone is the region around a star where conditions are just right for liquid water to exist on the surface of a planet. By studying the atmospheres of these exoplanets, scientists hope to 